find this. Looks like some paracord. Huh. That's a good find. I know it's not much. I mean, that's probably, looking at it, it's probably five or six feet, but in a survival situation, boy, paracord is a great thing to have. Um, one of the reasons that I like finding stuff like this, it's not that I'm a cheapskate and can't afford paracord, it's just when you're in a survival situation and you run into something like this, this is a gold find, this is a great find because cordage, good cordage, is one of the hardest things to reproduce in the field, in a survival situation, in the wild. Very difficult. This is a gold mine. This is a great find. Okay folks, right now I'm in the process of adding some hot water to the sink. I've got some soap here. I'm going to add a little bit of soap to the water. Now I'm going to take this paracord that I found. It's going to clean it up. See the water turning colors. My whole plan is just to clean this paracord up and kind of salvage it. Get it cleaned up, get the dirt out of it, make it at least where it's usable. Now again, we're, we're finding this out in the field, so it's you know, it's not the best paracord in the world, but I'm just showing you some things that you can do to help bring life back to it. See that? It's a lot cleaner than it was. Get a lot of that dirt and stuff out of it. You know, it takes a little bit of time to work it, you know, and get it cleaned up. What I would like to do is I'd like to untie this... Um, this square knot right here so I don't know if I can do this with my hands or if I need a knife or something to help undo this but I'm gonna try to undo this knot right here hopefully if I can get it loose that might help a little bit This cord already looks a lot better than it did. I'm going to go ahead and dump this water out and I'm going to refill it again. And, uh, whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to refill it again. Again, this is hot water. Okay. And let's get our soap again. Get some more lather in there. If you have some shampoo or something available, that'd be a good option too. All I have right now is this bar of soap. That's why I'm using it. I'm just trying to get a good little lather. Putting that lather right into the water. Get our rope back in there. Clean it again. Look at that water already turning brown again. And that was after turning that last batch of water brown. I'm going to let that soak for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay folks, I'm back. I have my knife in my hand. What my plan is here is I'm going to try to undo this square knot here. I don't want any knots on this piece of rope. So I'm just trying to get under this a little bit and hopefully be able to undo this. I don't know if I'll be able to succeed or not, but we'll try. 
definitely going to try. So I'm going to kind of work on this for a little bit. It's, it's starting to loosen up for me, so... It's important that I don't want to get too crazy with my knife. I don't want to do anything to cut the rope or anything like that. I don't want to damage it. This is a point where it's good to be very patient. A lot of things that I do, patience is what gets me through a lot of things. Look at that. That knot just came out. Check that out, folks. Now I'm going to add some more hot water. Clean this rope a little bit more. You know what? I think I'll drain this water and get one more batch of water. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, folks, just like I did a second ago, I'm cleaning the sink out. Let's put some more water in there, more soap. Basically, I, can, I keep doing this process until I don't see any more dirt in the water. Or at least until the water is minimal in its dirt content. So. Which I think we've kind of re reached that point. So there's one end. I am going to connect these two pieces together. But I'm going to choose a different knot. I'm going to choose a sheet bend. I like the sheet bend because you can put a load on this thing and if you want to undo the, the knot, it's very simple. Whoops, what's going on here? Hang on. Some here, going this way, going around, right out there. There we go. That would be my sheet bend. So now I can tighten that up really good, and it'll make one piece of cordage. And this is very similar to a bowen. So I can put this knot under a load, and then when I'm ready to undo it, it'll come undone very easily. Look at that water once again. That's very dirty. But this paracord is pretty much ready to go. And I'm, I'm standing it up next to me, and it's quite a bit taller than me. I think I have about eight feet of paracord. About eight feet or so. Well, folks, there you have it. There's my paracord ready to go. Like I said, it's about eight feet, so that's good, useful paracord. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Now, this is probably tensile strength is probably not uh, like what a brand new paracord would be 550 pounds but nonetheless this is still strong enough to make a bow drill set uh, it's strong enough to tie some things down 
strong enough to make a leash for your dog or whatever you got to do a belt anything like that so again folks I want to say thanks for watching I hope you found some good useful information out of this video please feel free as always to like this video thumbs up share leave comments down below don't forget to go check out my Facebook page and as always have a beautiful day everybody we'll see you next time now go out there and get yourself some paracord for free keep your eyes open folks you never know what you're gonna find it might be something that somebody thinks is worth nothing but it might be worth a lot to you have a beautiful day bye bye okay folks I'm back remember this and now I'm going to add this. I have a small keychain. And that's exactly what my objective is for this video today. I want to make a keychain out of this paracord that I found. And some of you might be watching this video right now and you might be sitting there thinking, wait a minute, <laughs> what are you making a keychain for, dude? You know, how come you're how come you're worried about making a keychain? Well, honestly. The reason I want to make a keychain is because, and don't laugh guys and ladies, but the reason I want to make a keychain today is because I want to give it away. I want to give it away to somebody who deserves it, somebody who wants it. Now I realize that this doesn't cost anything. I realize that there's nothing involved in this money-wise. I realize that the value of this keychain is probably nothing, but does that stop me from wanting to give it away to some young kid maybe or somebody that it could actually be something you know good for? Doesn't stop me at all. I know that this paracord is just something I found on the on the dirt when I was out there picking up some brass. But really, folks, that, that's not the point. The point is, can I make something that would put a smile on somebody's face? I think I can. And that's why I'm doing this. Now, I know there's a lot of people that don't quite understand, you know, about things like that. You know, the simple things in life. The simple things that could make a person really happy. You know, there's a lot of people that probably just don't get it. You know, and I'm happy to, to be here to say, you know, I'm humbled and, and I'm proud to know that I'm one of those people that actually can. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy to know that I'm one of the people that could actually do something simple that could put a smile on someone's face. So you're probably wondering, well, what's the catch? How do we get this keychain? Well, the first thing I want to say is I want to ask that all of you out there watching will be fair about this. What I mean by fair is I mean if you're not interested in winning a keychain, again, it's of zero value. You know, I spent a little time on it, so it does have maybe a personal touch, a personal level to it. You know, it's something that I put together. But I guess what I'm asking is if you have no desire or if you know how to make one yourself or something like that, don't, don't say that you want this. Okay, leave this to some people, some viewers, that it would actually mean something to. Look at that mosquito. So, you know, leave a comment, but, you know, let it go to somebody who can actually be happy about it that's my ask. that's my question that's what I'm asking it doesn't take much time you know and whoever wins this will know that you and I are on a personal level connected through this again I know that the value is nothing but it could be something that's invaluable to someone out there and that's the person that I want to reach out to. That's the person that I want to give this to. Now, I'll mail this anywhere in America. 
In fact, I might go out on a limb and say it, you know, I'll, I'll mail this anywhere. Anybody, anybody, anywhere. As long as you guys are fair about it. And as long as it goes to someone that will appreciate it. Somebody that, that it can touch. Maybe some young kid out there somewhere who's suffering of a health issue. Or maybe there's a veteran or something that's sitting in a hospital, paralyzed. I don't know. Somebody who can't use their hands, maybe an elderly person, I don't know. I'm gonna let you, the viewers, decide. I'm gonna let you guys decide. By only allowing the people that want to put their name in the bucket to win this. I know this is kind of a strange little bit of a giveaway, but I thought it was kind of cool. You know, there's so many people that focus so much on money and what does it cost and how much did that make, you know, how much did you spend. I'm not like that. At Christmas time, I would much rather make something for somebody than go to a store and buy it because that I, I feel like if you buy something and you give it to somebody, there's nothing personal behind that other than the money that you spent on it. And I think that's kind of a, and don't get mad at me, folks, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and throw it out there and say it. Don't, you know, I, I think that that's kind of a shallow, kind of a hollow uh, gift. Something like this actually means something. I got blisters on my hands making this thing for you. We're connected. So how do you win it? Very simple. The people that actually want to put their name in the hat for the drawing to win this, leave a comment down below. I don't care how old you are, I don't care where you live, I'll ship it anywhere in the, in the world. Leave a comment down below. And all you have to put to show that you're in on this, that you're interested, in capital letters, write the word please. Please. That's it. Somewhere in your comment, the word please. P-L-E-A-S-E. -E, all capital letters. For the rest of you, you can leave a comment. Feel free. Just don't say the word please. And I won't count you in the drawing. If you want to show your support or whatever, cool, get involved. The word please, P-L-E-A-S-E, -E, all capitals. So this paracord does not go to waste, does it folks? Not at all. Doesn't go to waste at all beautiful colors you know it took me a little bit of time to clean it it was very dirty and now it's gonna be something it's actually gonna be reborn if you will it's gonna have a nice little future to somebody that des that deserves it how long am I gonna let this drawing go how long am I gonna wait before I actually pick someone that wins it I don't know you guys tell me Right now it's about mid-March, so I don't know, maybe a month or two. The first person that comments saying when the contest should be over, that's what I'll go by. So think about it, don't just leave a random comment down there. Now let me finish this up. Okay. My knife is really dull, folks. Okay. Bear with me here. There we 
Mexico that don't look too bad. Let's get this other side done. When I said earlier about the first person that makes a comment saying when the contest is over, it's the first person that makes an intelligent comment. If you say, oh, this thing should be over tomorrow, I'm not going to listen to your comment. I'm going to listen to the first comment that actually makes sense. I don't know if it was me, I'd say a month or two. Okay folks, so there you have it. We have a nice little keychain here free to anybody in the world that wants it. Again, I'm going to ask you guys to please keep it fair. Let's let this go to somebody who actually is going to need it or appreciate it. Again, the first person that leaves a comment down below saying when the contest is over and as long as it's reasonable, I'll listen to you. You'll get to choose. I'm getting you guys involved in this. How am I going to choose a winner? Everybody that says the capital word please in their comment will be added to the drawing and whenever that date is of whoever leaves the first intelligent closure date of this contest I'll go to random.org and I'll make a drawing and I'll ship this to you. So again folks one man's trash is another man's treasure. I really hope that this goes to somebody good. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you. Bye bye. That's pretty cool. Later.